Hey ladies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one all about the luxury wish list items for 2024. So let's get to it. In this year's video, I'm gonna break it down into categories. First, starting with accessories. If you are a current subscriber of mine, you will not be shocked to know that I love designer sunglasses. We love those around here. And it's kind of like once I get one, I start getting the urge for another one. I kind of do the same thing, I think, with handbags. I've been doing that for years, but what's a gal to do? We love luxury, that's why we're here, right? So back in December, I got the Fendi First Rimless sunglasses and I'm absolutely obsessed with those. I think they're gorgeous. They give the JLo Diva vibes in my opinion and I just think that they're such a statement pair. So kind of along those lines, when I started looking at some images previously of JLo per se wearing those sunglasses or wearing something similar to those, I came across these by Tom Ford that she was wearing. I think they're called the Tom Ford Flancos. I'll make sure to link those down below. As with anything I share today, if I can find it and link it, I'll make sure to do that just in case you're interested. But these are a little bit different for me. They're a little bit more on the trendy side. And yes, Heather is looking at something that is trendy. I am typically more of a classic gal, but I am trying to get outside of my comfort zone and live a little more. So I think these would be a fun pair to add to the collection. Sticking with some classics though, these are some modern classics in my opinion, and they're by Celine. I like both of these because in the black option, you're gonna get a statement black sunglass that you can wear with anything and everything. And then I think with the tortoise or Havana that they might be called, the brown color if you will, those I think would be absolutely perfection for spring and summer. Something else that I would love to add would be a ball cap. I love to wear a hat, I love to wear a beanie, I actually have a couple of accessories, including a beanie that I need to share with you guys that will be coming up very soon. Even though we're at the tail end of winter, they're awesome and I can't wait to share those with you guys. But kind of keeping in that realm or that theme, if you will, I want to add a couple of hats to my collection. Maybe the one by Celine that has the black, I think it's a black ball cap and then it has white lettering on it. I think that one would work well any time of the year. I also like the Fendi one as well. Now the Fendi one, kind of reminds me of the Louis Vuitton ball cap that I have seen and I've tried it on, I've tested that one out. I do like that one a lot. I've been eyeing that one for years, but the Fendi one I think might be a little bit better just because it's softer and I think it might be more versatile all year round. Whereas with the Louis Vuitton one, I think you are really limited to fall and winter. Speaking of Louis Vuitton, I would love to add a toiletry case or the Nisi, if you will. I would love to add this in either the medium or the large size. I think they would be beautiful for travel. And I think they would also just be fun to have out on a daily basis, whether that's on a countertop, uh, in the bathroom, or in the closet. I think for me personally, I would have it in my wardrobe, in my closet, and put some items in there that I could look at and enjoy on a daily basis. I'd also love to add a Chanel card case. I think this would be a fun little piece to put in any of my other bags, but specifically in my Chanel 19 would be fun, or even in the larger size pack that I shared in my double unboxing. If you haven't seen that video or the review on the Chanel 19, if you're interested in those, make sure to check those out next. I'll link those for you. But I think the card case would go really well in that large pouch if I wanted to use that one for a clutch. There's a few pieces in the ready to wear category that I've had my eye on for a while, starting first with these Prada shorts. I think these Prada shorts would be amazing all spring and summer long. I think that they are really fun. I think they would look really nice and very chic with a tank top or a t-shirt, whether that be a long sleeve tee or a short sleeve tee. Throwing on some sandals like my Fendi slides or even my Orans or even sneakers for that matter. And I think you could put almost any bag that you would want to with these shorts. And so kind of speaking of tank tops, I really have wanted to add the Loewe tank top. This one is a little bit of a challenge because of the fact that it is so pricey for a tank top. Now, obviously anything in the luxury world is going to be pricey, but for a tank top, this one is pretty stiff 
but I have done a lot of research on this one and from everything I can find, anyone who's gotten this tank top has absolutely loved it. I've seen some people that have gotten also, I think Dior had one that was similar and they did not like it anywhere near to the extent of this Loewe one. So I think this one, we, this one would be a beautiful one to pair with those Prada shorts, but to pair with any short or denim, anything that you would want to, I think this would be a beautiful piece. There's another item in this category that is really out there for the cost, but I just think that it would be such an investment piece for the wardrobe, and that is this Kate cardigan. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just love kind of the oversized sleeves on this, and I think that this is one you could wear with a tank top, you could wear it with a t-shirt, or you can simply just wear it by itself and all buttoned up. I think it would just be absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. I don't know that this is something that I would wanna add this time of year because I think it would lend itself more to fall and winter because it is made of a, I think a heavier cashmere, but I think it is just absolutely stunning and there are so many colors when it comes to this cardigan. Now to handbags. There are a few items from Louis Vuitton that I have had on my wish list for years and I just keep carrying them over. So let's see if they make it into the wardrobe this year. Some might really surprise you and others may actually shock you. So let's jump to it. The first one would be the Louis Vuitton Keep All in the 45 size. This one is a bag that I shared in my wish list from last year, but I've since changed my thoughts around this bag. I initially thought that I wanted the Makassar, which is the black leather trim. That has something that has been something now that I have kind of fallen out of love with. I have just found myself gravitating towards the traditional monogram with the Vachetta. Yes, I said Vachetta. Again, if you are a current OG subscriber of mine, you have probably heard me rant about Vachetta before, and I think I'm over my rant now, and for some reason I have taken a 180. I just feel like that is really more classic, and I'm just more drawn to it. And I think with future bags that have Vachetta on them, I will certainly treat them so that I don't have to worry about it and just have peace of mind. So I think the Keep All in the monogram with the traditional Vachetta would be one, Keep All 45 traditional Vachetta would be one that I would love to add. Speaking of Vachetta and monogram, I'll stick to the kind of same theme here. So the next bag would be a Speedy 25 in the classic monogram. You may be aware that I have the Speedy and the Damier bin, and it has been one of my most used bags, one of my most loved bags, but I have kind of started, again, falling out of love with some things, and that print is one that I'm kind of just falling away from. I am gravitating more towards this monogram and Vachetta. I just feel, I don't know, I feel like it's more me now. Maybe it wasn't a couple of years ago, but I feel like it is now. So I think the Speedy 25 monogram in the bandolier, I would still want the strap, hands down. But I think that would be a beautiful everyday bag for the collection. This next one, you might wanna sit down for this. I might wanna sit down for this because this might be crazy. Tell me if I'm bonkers, tell me if I've lost my mind, but I think I wanna add a Neverfull. Yes, I just said that, a Neverfull. You may be aware, and if not, I have had a Neverfull twice before. I had it in the Damier, most recently was the Damier Aben, and then I also had it in the Damier Azor. Loved that bag. I got rid of both of those, not because I did not like the Neverfull, but because those prints were just not me. Now, I've also been guilty of saying that this bag might not be worth it. And I know to some people, they hate it. I know some people think that it is too basic and that it's not worth it. I said that before and now I might be eating my words. I think for some reason I am missing that in my collection. I am missing, I have a tote obviously like my book tote here that I love. It's very structured and I love the fact that this is like a piece of art. Can't go wrong with that. But the reason I think I'm missing the Neverfull is because that bag is just so easy and it just flows. And I think for an everyday casual kind of catch all or travel tote, I just don't think you can go wrong with a never full. So I don't know, tell me down below, have I lost my marbles? As I'm, am I going crazy if I get this bag for the third time? I don't know, I am considering it. So let me know what your thoughts are. The Dior Saddlebag has been a bag that 
has been on again, off again on my list, but I first fell in love with this bag when I saw it styled by Lydia Millen, and I have never been able to get this image out of my mind. This is a bag that it is oddly shaped. It is not very functional, if you will, because it will not hold a ton. You have to kind of finagle to put things on the inside of that. I already know, I have seen it, I've tried it on, I've played around with it. Last year was my year for adding some Dior and I love Dior. I am such a fan of their bags. I think they are very well made and I think that they are just timeless classics. I don't think that you can go wrong, honestly, with almost any bag by Dior. The only catch with Dior bags is that they really just don't hold their value. Unfortunately, even the Lady Dior bag, you can certainly purchase some of those on the pre-loved market and score a major deal. With the saddle bag, I am in love with the black and gold and then the guitar strap. The saddlebag now comes with a longer strap that it initially did not come with when that bag first came out, but I still think I would add, and so I guess I would put that on an accessories list, I would add the guitar strap because I think it just adds another extra level of style and sophistication and it's just, it's a conversation starter. So I think that this would be a gorgeous piece to add to the collection and you can never go wrong with too many black bags, right? <laughs> I love the YS so college bag so much so that I would consider adding a second one. This is not the first time that I have mentioned this. I think I've shared this particular bag before, maybe in stories, also in a longer video, but it is in the grayish brown color. There is just something about the combination of the grayish brown with the aged gold hardware that is chef's kiss all the way around. It's stunning. To me, that bag really goes with my skin tone very well. And I think for me, this bag makes me feel how cognac or caramel or caramel, tomato, tomato, however you wanna say that, makes others feel. This is the one that I just think is just so lusciously luxurious that whether it's this year or later, this bag is going to make its way into the collection also and be side by side with my current Blanc Vintage. I'm starting to admire Fendi more and more. I love my Fendi first. I think that is one of the most unique and classic little pieces in my collection. And so with that being said, I'd love to explore adding some other things from Fendi perhaps either a peekaboo or a baguette. Those are polar opposites, I know, apples and oranges. I have played around with both of those. I've tried them on numerous times. I don't think you could go wrong with either of those. I think the peekaboo, if I wanted to add another structured bag, another classic style like that would be a great one. And I love, love, love the dark brown color in the Fendi peekaboo because this one, I think, it gives kind of a dark espresso vibe without being like black. And so that way it gives me a little bit of variety within the wardrobe and not being all black bags. Although there's nothing wrong with that, right? I can't help it. I'm addicted to black bags. Anyone else or is it just me? The Chanel bug has definitely bit me now that I have my Chanel 19 as well as my two pouches and my brooch that I have. I really love the Chanel bags. I know that again, this is one that some people just don't like and they don't feel it's worth it anymore. And other people, are just going to be ride or die Chanel fans. And I just think that I'm a Chanel fan. I can't deny it. I think that they are very classic and timeless pieces. So I think for me, something that I might be on the lookout for would be a classic Chanel flap in the black caviar, small or medium. I've looked at that a couple times before. And I think whether it's in 24 or you know in 25, I think that's a bag that I would certainly love to add. There's also the kind of desire to look for some vintage pieces. I have been scouring some different websites, looking at vintage pieces, and I think that that would be something fun too and add some you know, pizzazz and just a little bit of a different vibe to the wardrobe. I don't think that everything has to be brand new. I think I started out that way, but I certainly feel like as time progresses, adding some vintage pieces are going to be an absolute must for the luxury handbag collection. While I do not own any bags that are strictly shoulder bags, I am obsessed 
with the Celine Ava Triumph bag. I think this bag is just so classic and there is something that has just drawn me to it like a moth to a flame. I saw it in person last year in Atlanta and I can't stop thinking about this one either. I think this is a perfect one year round and I do feel like even though it is a smaller shoulder bag, I feel like it is still substantial in terms of how much it will hold. There's two beautiful colors and actually, sorry, there are three because there is a monogram or a canvas print. I did do a video comparison on these because I have seen them. I have kind of paid a lot of attention to this particular style. So if you are interested in that video, I'll make sure to link it also. But the three colors are the black, the kind of brown cognac color, and then their classic um, you know, fabric with their logo on it. And I think that they're all beautiful, but the black and the gold hardware to me is just stunning and I think this would be a really fun one from Celine to add. I may have already added to cart on this one, I'm not gonna lie, because this is something that never, never has happened in my experience. I've never seen a bag that I have had remorse over not purchasing come back around. Oftentimes bags may come back around, like for example, the Louis Vuitton bum bag, but when they come back around, they've been tweaked, they've been changed, they've been altered, they've been updated, and the name has been changed. However, this is a particular bag that absolutely nothing has been changed except the price tag. So I definitely wish that I would have purchased this bag years ago. I saw this clutch. I think it was either 2019 or maybe the start of 2020 and I was obsessed with it. I thought it was the most beautiful clutch I had ever seen. Very classic and timeless but really that statement piece that you would want when you're going out for an evening and I don't know why I passed it by but ever since it went out of stock I have had the remorse over not purchasing that bag. I have been sad to this day that I did not get it. I've even looked time and time again, I've even set up alerts for this on the pre-loved market and I have never seen it. And the other day, I was scrolling on the Gucci website, just perusing, you know, like we luxury gals do, looking at what's new, getting some ideas for spring and summer, and all of a sudden, this bag or this clutch shows up. I literally stopped in my tracks, and yes, I have already added this to cart. I think it is absolutely beautiful and I definitely don't want to miss this bag this go around. I'll make sure to link this one down below because if you are in the market for a black clutch this one would be absolutely perfect. She's stunning and I think that you would absolutely love her. I'd love to know what is on your luxury wish list for 2024 and let me know out of the items I shared today which one is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and until next time live your lux and I'll see you in the next video.